receiving reports from the Coast Guard about a developing situation at the harbor front. We have a lot of unmarked container ships approaching. They're refusing to identify themselves. Over. took us by surprise. We had been at war for almost four months and still we couldn't understand what was happening. Even as artillery shells started exploding on the streets of Seattle, many people just stood there, stunned by shock and disbelief. War can be fascinating to watch on TV, but up close and personal, it's a whole other story. Imagine your office blown to pieces, your car thrown about like a discarded glove, and your friend lying on the street, his body torn to bloody shreds. That was the reality in Seattle on that fateful day in the fall of 89. The army was fighting in Europe and elsewhere, and our Navy was supposed to protect us from an invasion. But they failed. They were fooled, as we were all fooled by the Soviet ruse. But as the first Soviet tanks started rolling off those freighters, a few of us tried to organize a desperate defense. We were not about to give up without a fight. Parker, I know you were the 
the Colonel's pet, but you don't impress me worth a damn. We need some intel before we leave this quagmire, and I want you to gather it. Find out what the hell is going on and relay back to me, Parker. I wonder how those damn commies managed to sneak by our Navy. for an attack from the harbor. This is Hanson. The National Guard has a supply depot near the harbor. If you could secure it, we might be able to bring in some reinforcements. We need all the help we can get. Secure that depot, Lieutenant Parker. We are ready to... What is it you want us to do, sir? We can't do that, sir. Come on, you got it! Me and my boys are gonna set you up for a dinner date with Stalin! We're ready with the heavy weapons! Boarding the transport. Everyone's aboard. Bring it on, you bastards! We can take whatever you throw at us! Good to moving into the transport. We won't fall back another inch. This is our country, damn it! Bradley on the roll. Driving two coordinates. Driving two coordinates. Bradley APC moving out. Moving out. Rolling, sir. Launching top.
lot of civilians have gathered at the Kingdom. We have to get them out of there before it's too late. What we need, Sergeant, is to get the hell out of this city before it's too late for all of us. But we can't leave them there to die, Captain! Damn it! No, we can't. Parker, I can't risk going there. You will have to work your way to the Kingdom. You better recon the route before you go. The Russians are probably everywhere by now. I know that, Sergeant. Parker, send out some scouts to recon that position. On the transport, ready. Going to push it, sir. Bravo 4, we're facing a sustained Soviet assault and cannot hold. Please advise, over. Copy that. Heavy artillery barrage inbound. Good work with the coordinates. Enemy destroyed. Artillery barrage hit for full effect. Parker, we might just do this! Keep it up! 
Another one down, Parker! The LZ has been cleared. I repeat, the LZ has been cleared. We're bringing in reinforcements at this time. Over. Hotel 2-9er, this is Hotel 6. Hold formation and keep a lookout for the enemy. They'll be back in the area soon enough. Hotel 6 out.
all the help we can get. Secure that depot, Lieutenant Parker. I got some more artillery support for you. Use it to clear the area. This is Yankee 5. We're standing by and ready to fire, sir. Who the hell is in charge of this mess? I, I, I thought we were gonna retreat! And we will, Private, but we have to stay organized. To hell with that, sir! If we want to live, we better start running! Stay off the net if you don't have anything useful to report. Bomber's ready to go. The supply depot has been secured. This is where you'll get your reinforcements, Parker. You better make sure the LZ stays clear. This is Eagle Six. Captain Bannon, is that you? Colonel Sawyer? How the hell did... No time, Captain. Bring what forces you have and meet me by the I-90 bridge. You got that? Sir, I... A simple yes will suffice, Bannon. Yes, sir. We'll be there. Bannon out. 